Welcome back to Ivy's YouTube channel. Over here in the series, we are trying to work with VBA, which is basically a programming language for automation of Excel. In the last episode, in the last video that you must have seen, we started to work on the backend in the VBA editor, where we understood how we can come from Excel back in the VB editor where we're writing the codes, we understood where to write a code and we understood what is the comment and how do we write it. So today, what we are going to start writing is what is a sub, how to write a program, which is a sub. Like I said last time, sub is basically a short form for subroutine. And what it helps us to do is write a series of instructions to be executed in a sequential manner. So how do you write a sub? We are going to use the keyword sub followed by the name of the sub. Now name of the sub is user given. You have to give it. I would always recommend to write the names of a sub that makes a person understand what kind of code is going to be there. So with the name of the sub, let's say this is our code one. Now, whether I can write code one or code one with a space, these things have to be taken into consideration. So whatever naming rules that we follow in Excel, like no spaces, no starting with numbers, no special characters except for underscore and dot, the same rules are applicable in VB also. So once you've written a sub, you've given a name to your sub and you press enter, automatically the parentheses of starting and closing come and end sub comes. And this is where we are going to start writing the code. Now, what do you think as uh, in a program, what do you think would be the very first step? So in Excel, we had this facility of storing the numbers in a cell and referring to it when we required for our calculation. Now, in a programming world, we don't have Excel over here right now. We will be working with Excel, definitely. That's the end goal on VBA. But for now, since we do not have any place to keep our or store our data that I want to use in the future, the very first thing typically in programming is that we try to declare variables so that we can use them. Now, I introduced a variable, the term called variable. So let's understand, first of all, what is variable? Variable is basically an entity to store a value. It may be a text, it may be a number, it may be a date, it may be a Boolean value. We are trying to store a value in a variable. And like the name suggests, variable. It means it can vary. It can change the value it is storing. But to start off with a simple example, let's say x is a variable. If I want to store a value of 10 into it, I'll simply say x is equal to 10. Now, if y was a variable and I wanted to store a text in it, just like in Excel, how we are going to put text in double quotes, we'll do the same format and enter. So this is how you assign a value to a variable. This is how you store a value in a variable. Now, I said it can vary. So what does that mean? When I put x is equal to 10, x is a variable in which we have stored a value of 10. Now, in further line of codes, if I say x is equal to 100, now what happened to the value of 10? It got erased. As a variable can store only one value at a time. Variable can store only one value at a time. So that means if there is a previous value that is there, I cannot retain the previous value and put the new value. So what this statement is doing for us is replacing the old value with the new one. So the old value is getting replaced with the new one. Now, before you declare a variable, uh, before you use a variable, very important step is to declare a variable. 
what we are saying is when we say the word declaration, we saying okay, there is a variable, and what kind of data type is going to be stored in the variable? So the how do you declare a variable in VBA? We are going to declare it by using the keyword dim, followed by the variable name, followed by the keyword as, and followed by the type of data that we're going to store. So if I wanted to store an integer, I can write dim x as integer. Y is storing a string. So I'm going to say dim y as string. And there you go. So I've declared the variables using the dim, the keyword, giving the data type, storing it. And then finally, I showed you how that we can replace the variable. So that's it for today. I'll meet you once again to talk about more in VBA, more in programming. Thank you. Stay tuned.